pomegranate, a symbol of ethnic unity in China. There are altogether 56 ethnic groups in the country, and Xinjiang, home to nearly 26 million people, is a melting pot of multi-ethnic cultures. I'm here in Kashgar, Xinjiang, a city known for pomegranates. Now, there are a lot of ethnic groups in Xinjiang, and I'm here to find out for myself how they are living together in harmony. Over a dozen ethnic groups have lived here for generations. The Uyghurs, the largest group in Xinjiang. They account for almost 45% of the region's total population. The word Uyghur means unite or alliance. China has always valued ethnic unity among all groups. And this has been an important message reiterated by the Chinese president. The big question is, how are they doing this? I went to a village in Shufu County, which President Xi visited in 2014. I had the pleasure of visiting a Uyghur couple. Yakshimo! Yakshimo! Hi! Abdu and his wife Guli invited me to tea. They told me they live in a community of ethnic diversity. <laughs> While we were chatting, the couple had a visitor. Oh, hi, hello. Hello. My name is Xu Zichen. Xu Zichen. I come from Guangzhou. Okay. Okay. I'm his cousin. Xu has joined a program that helps boost exchanges between different ethnic groups in Xinjiang. The pairing assistance program was implemented in 2017 to support Xinjiang's socio-economic development. Xu often brings customers to Abdu's greenhouse to buy flowers. This is one of Abdu's main income sources. Xu also told me that he feels like he's part of the family. Abdu told me he has been learning Mandarin with his brother Xu. He said he hopes to master the language before his trip to the capital Beijing one day. 我们是有三十七个干部人才，然后我们目前是结了一百对的这个亲戚。他们有个愿望，就是特别渴望呃去北京，呃，特别是去看我们天安门，去看我们升旗啊。呃，我们今年也有一个计划，带着我们当地的老
这样子，对。Learning Mandarin, China's most commonly used language, is an integral part of this lesson. Children, through the national language system, they went to this place, and they went to abroad to study, to study, to go to work, or to develop a better life and opportunity. In 2004, when Xi Jinping went to China, he was also a researcher who said that children should be able to improve their learning skills, not only to get a job in the future, but also to make a contribution to Xi Jinping as a leader of the country. To date, 900 graduates have either enrolled in a college or found a job outside of Xinjiang. The school also teaches its students to keep their culture and tradition alive. I was born in Singapore, which is a multi-ethnic society. Uh, growing up in such an environment exposed me to new ways of doing things and fresh ways at looking at things. And I think that's what's happening here in Xinjiang. I personally like the pomegranate seeds plan, which aims to integrate the Uyghur children with children from other ethnic groups in China. And uh, nurturing this character trait from young is extremely important. A bilingual education has certainly given these children a head start. I wanted to find out more about job opportunities for ethnic groups. I headed up north to the regional capital Urumqi to visit Xinjiang's largest dry fruit company. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's very sweet. Mm, yes, very good. Thank you. President Xi visited this company in 2014. He said he hopes companies can contribute more to boost the local economy. The president has always stressed that no single ethnic group should be left behind in pursuing a better life. We have provided a long-term I spoke to a few employees from different ethnic groups about their working experiences at this company. 各个民族的共同相处，平时我们比除了工作以外，我们在外面也是都是一个朋友一样，我们在一块工作。每天挺开心的，跟大家有说有笑的。我们在一起相处的很好，我们我有时间也会简单的给他们教一点我们的维吾尔语，比如说礼貌用语“你好”“呀什么什”，吃饭了吗？他妈黑灯子么？Today, Xinjiang's annual disposable income per capita has reached over 26,000 yen or about 3,900 US dollars. This is nearly double compared to 10 years ago. It was a delight to see people from different ethnic groups living peacefully in Xinjiang. Unfortunately, my journey to the West was too short. I wish there was more time to see other places and experience more cultures and customs. Perhaps I'll visit Xinjiang again when the pomegranates are in season.